Hello and welcome to another episode of the NK Active podcast. I am Nick, podiatrist and clinical director here at NK Active. So, this episode is all about the best shoes for knee osteoarthritis. So, footwear when it comes to knee osteoarthritis, it is important. It doesn't negate the reason for doing any strengthening exercises. It can be there as an adjunct and can be something that is really helpful in the management of symptoms. And in general, there are two characteristics that tend to make life more comfortable if you're living with knee osteoarthritis. So characteristic number one is you may want to look for something that has a slight rocker. And holding in my hand is the Ciccone Endorphin Speed Trainer. Now, since the release of all of these hyper shoes and trainers on the market, you'll tend to find the majority of manufacturers will make a rocker shoe. Personally, I find out of all of them that the Ciccone offers that ability to have a rocker. It has a stiff plate to make you a nice stiff shoe, but also offers a nice amount of cushionings that tend to feel comfortable. If you want something that has a slightly wider fit, you may want to look at some of the Ultra shoes, um, spelled A-L-T-R-A. They have a very wide toe box and they have just released a their first Rocker Sole shoe as well. Or you also may want to look at a brand called Hoka as well and in general they will tend to have a rocker shoe and that can be helpful because it can just help you with that heel to toe gait and push you forward and just take some of the symptoms away from the knee. The other thing you may want to look at is a sort of nice supportive walking shoe. You'll tend to find you'll find this helpful because it offers more support up around the ankle and just gives that feeling of support throughout the foot. And people with knee arthritis tend to find that helpful because they turn around and say, it feels like things are a little more stable, I have a little bit more control, and I feel a little more confident on my knee. Now, there are loads of different styles of walking shoes out there. In general, you want to go for something that is lighter but still supportive. The beauty of all of the modern technologies coming out is you can get something nice and lightweight. This boot here was a Timberland boot. It's, it's not too weighty, but you may also want to have a look at something called the North Face Vective range because you get a nice lightweight walking boot that will also combine that rocking motion in them as well. And personally for me, the North Face Vective was the train that I used to walk around a lot of East Coast America and over the Easter holidays and found it a really comfortable shoe. Now there are two characteristics you may want to look at um, to help you, but then, okay, what can you do in the summer? So this is where the likes are something like the Strive sandals. There are other brands out there. You've got Vionic, make their own. And you've also got one you've most probably heard of, Birkenstock. But if you take the Strive sandals or the Vionic sandals, they naturally have an off-the-shelf insole built into the arch. So they offer more support than most other sandals out there, which is great for your summer footwear or when you are going on holiday. So to really sum up what you want to either look for is a good old supportive shoe, something like a walking shoe that comes up around the ankle or a walking boot, a shoe that has a slight rocker to it, or if you're looking at summer footwear, you're looking at something that can help support the arch of the foot. And in general, they're the three different characteristics that most people find helpful when they've got knee osteoarthritis. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Please do subscribe to the podcast. If you have any questions, let us know. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. See you later. Bye.